Good morning, Dr. Collins, the Cowboy Dennis. Listen, I know one of the biggest problems is, or biggest thing that you're concerned about is, who is this guy and why am I going to use him? And I know one of the things also is, a lot of times you guys are very scared to go to the dentist. What I can tell you is, my integrity is number one. And what you can do is, just go through my reviews. I got about 300 reviews from between Facebook, Google, and all these different social media platforms. Go through and look at my reviews. You'll see some amazing reviews, 300 plus. And then I may have a couple of bad reviews. I'm just being honest. I think we, you know, in, in business, I can't make everyone love me, uh, unfortunately. But I respect the good and the bad, right? Uh, I've been doing this now nearly 30 years. And I'm kind of old school, they'll call us. But now seeing some of, the, some of the amazing, amazing new technology that's there, we were able to, to see things differently than we did really five years ago. I mean, just even the x-rays, the CT scan, which is a 3D dimensional scan, where I can see all around a tooth, where at one time I can only see the front of the tooth. And so we can now, you know, diagnose uh, sometimes cancer better or sometimes diagnose different things that we may have missed without this particular software. Now we're able to scan the mouth versus that old yucky out impression material that was choking you. We're able to now use a, a digital scan that can actually scan your entire mouth in seconds. Uh, use, when they first started this thing off back in, I don't know, 10 years ago of scanning, it may have taken you almost 20 minutes to scan. Now we can do things within a minute, right? So all the new technology for someone like me who's an innovative, it is amazing. When I go to the, the dental conferences, I'm like a kid in the candle store, right? I'm always trying to find the new gadgets. And at my practice, I can guarantee you, there's not too many people who have the gadgets that I do. I love gadgets and I love paying for it. I truly pride myself in being seriously innovative so that I can be probably one of the, at least, maybe not the best dentists, but I'm gonna be knowledgeable as I am. My dad told me years ago, he said, yo, don't be just a dentist, be one of the best dentists possible. And I pride myself in traveling to Switzerland or Germany or other countries, learning Brazil, learning other techniques that we don't do necessarily here in, in the States. So I am all about innovation, it's, it's my pride. I actually even love the new AI thing. It is so amazing now of what it's able to do. I have a new program now. They say that 35% of, of dentists agree with one another. And mainly that may be because of what, x-rays and whatnot, right? They also say that 65% of dentists agree with themselves within six months. That means I made a treatment plan you today and six months later, I may, and a lot of times that's because of the x-ray. But now they have an AI program where it actually shows you where the decay is, things that you may have missed because of x-rays and the density of the x-ray that you're taking. So being innovative is amazing for me. For me, my word and everything I do matters to me. I don't wanna cheat anyone. I wanna make sure that you get what you say you're gonna get. And I'm gonna also make sure you know exactly i'm going to spend that time with you most of my patients i sometimes my patients or sometimes my my employees get mad at me because i spend sometimes they consider too much time with my patients but i do that for everyone I'm, i make sure that all your questions everything that you need to know is answered period and so one of the things you're going to get is honesty and you're going to get someone who's knowledgeable and also i pay i research my staff a lot make sure that i have nice qualified people that can answer questions for you, but also treat you the way you deserve. You're coming to me for a service. I'm gonna give you that service and I'm gonna respect you and respect the things that you're gonna do. You're spending your money, hey, I got you. One of the main things that you can expect outside of everything I mentioned earlier is the fact that I actually have one of my good friends, Gino, and I'm gonna say his name, as my lab technician. It is amazing, amazing to have such experience. We have in my practice, a total between him and nearly about 60 years of experience in dentistry from the tip side as well as the dental side. So most practices don't have the ability to have a technician. So I have an in-house lab. That means we do everything in-house. Uh, one of the benefits of that, of having such an in-house lab is that we're able to do one thing is he's able to see any issues that we have. Everyone has issues, don't get it twisted, including myself. And so what's a wonderful thing is that most times, most docs have to, do, have to actually call the technicians and try to describe what issues they have or try to write down a description of what problems they may or may not have. For me, I just say, Gino! And he comes and, and takes care of the patients. The patients absolutely love him. My staff loves him and I appreciate him like a brother.